Hit the books. Definition, to study very hard. I have an exam tomorrow, I need to hit the books tonight. Well, I guess we better hit the books, huh? Oh, yeah, right. Dear diary, tomorrow I buckle down and hit the books. Well, time to hit the books. Great! I'll go hit the books. You're going to hit the books and pass it. That way you'll have no choice but to hit the books. In the meantime, hit those books, because if you don't pass your midterms, there'll be no class trip for any of you. Couch potato. Definition, someone who spends a lot of time sitting and watching TV. Stop being a couch potato. You should spend time with your friends. Look, you're going to become the first alien couch potato. What are you talking about, you corrupt couch potato? Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato and... I don't know how to say this. The human being is called a couch potato. I look forward to being a couch potato for a while. Cut to the chase. Definition, to talk about or deal with the most important part of something. Can you cut to the chase and tell me what you want? Cut to the chase, Sheldon. Okay. But let's cut to the chase. What's your game, friend? Let's just cut to the chase, okay? What do you want? Uh, could we cut to the chase? Let's cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. What's it worth? So let's cut to the chase. I'm here to steal your 50 grand. What? Let me just cut to the chase. You two, you got it bad for each other. Face the music. Definition, to accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. Sooner or later, you're going to face the music. Well, time to go face the music. You take care of yourself all if right. I don't see you, all right? Time to face the music. You'll leave, and I'll stay and face the music. Face the music, whatever that may be. All right, time to face the music. Well, I don't see what choice you have. You either go home and face the music, or you suffocate in your own pee. In a nutshell, Definition, it's used for saying that, you are going to express something, in a short, clear way. In a nutshell, John and I broke up. In a nutshell, I hate my brother. In a nutshell, he is disgusting. Case in point. Mm. Okay, Julie, so now let's start with your childhood. What was that like? <laughs> well, in a nutshell. <laughs> So describe your, your spin-off in a nutshell. Huh? That's my 20s in a nutshell. Okay. Well, the, okay, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is leadership. On thin ice. Definition, if someone is on thin ice, they are in a risky position. Don't be late again, Lucas. You're on thin ice. Let's face it, you're on thin ice. You're on thin ice, Rodriguez. Now listen up. You are on thin ice, boy. We're already on thin ice with Mr. Friedman. You are on thin ice, boy. You want to keep this job? You're on thin ice, Garrison. You're on thin ice, buddy. And you are on very, hey, very thin ice. Be all ears. Definition. To be very keen, to hear about something. I've got some good news for you. I'm all ears. I'm totally listening, I'm all ears, go. <laughs> oh, but when Phoebe has a problem, everyone's all ears. If you have better ideas of how to defeat the devil, Bonnie, I'm all ears.
I know you wanted to talk this out, so uh, I'm all ears. Yeah, Superman. We're all ears. If there's something here that would like to communicate with us, we're all ears. Speak up. A dime a dozen. Definition, very common and not valuable. Low-paying jobs are a dime a dozen in the city center. That's a lovely scarf you're wearing. Uh, where did you get it? Uh, they're a dime a dozen. Well, don't worry about it, son. Those things are a dime a dozen. Those guys are a dime a dozen. Good! Leave! I don't need you to help me solve my problems. You know what? You're a dime a dozen. I can't tell which one's Marty. Guys like us, we are a dime a dozen. In the same boat. Definition, to be in the same difficult situation as someone else. We're all in the same boat. We should help each other. You and I, we're in the same boat. And I got a wife, I got a kid, I got a kid on the way, I got a new job. I'm in the same boat. I thought we were in the same boat. I made a choice to end that relationship. We're not in the same boat. I am the captain, but we're all in the same boat. Teamwork. I'm in the same boat as you, Raymond. Not rocket science. Definition, it's used to say that something is not difficult to do or understand. You can learn how to drive a car. It's not rocket science. That's it? No advice? What advice? Call her, apologize. It's not rocket science. Man. Not because I do it all the time, I'm just saying it's not rocket science. I mean, fixing your hair is not exactly rocket science, unless you've only got one arm. Barb. Barb, it's not rocket science. You just tell your parents you're going to stay at my place afterwards. Miss the boat. Definition, to lose an opportunity by not taking action quickly enough. He missed the boat when he didn't apply for the job in time. Danielle, we all know you have a problem with commitment. Don't miss the boat on this one like you did with Tyler. So I maybe kind of missed the boat a little bit on calling you shrimp. The one who really missed the boat in London was me. That's all I need to know. Well, you really missed the boat, didn't you, Prentice? <laughs> Come in handy. Definition, to be useful in a particular situation. These boxes will come in handy when we move house. You never know, it might come in handy one day. See, now I would date this girl. She's cute. <laughs> She's outdoorsy. You know, and she knows how to build a fire. I mean, that's got to come in handy. What is it? Something that might come in handy. I could see how his uh, unique skills could really come in handy to an intelligent guy, huh? I knew those scrapbooks were going to come in handy. Speak of the devil. Definition, it's said when someone you have just been talking about appears unexpectedly. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you. Speak of the devil. Here he is. I think that's extraordinary. Congratulations. Oh, speak of the devil. It's over, Sonny. It's too late. There he is. Speak of the devil. Oh, speak of the devil. That's what makes him so invaluable. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Easy does it. Definition, it's used to tell someone to do something slowly and carefully. Easy does it. It's very fragile. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. 
easy does it, everyone. Nobody even take Kevin, a don't... breath. Okay, Dave. Easy does it. Easy does it there. <laughs> easy does it, lady. We're moving, okay? All right. All right. Easy does it. Nice and slow. Easy does it before we find a place, all right? Fat chance. Definition. It's used to say that something is very unlikely to happen. Fat chance I'll go to the party tonight. I should study for the exam. Max. Fat chance. I think they want us to stop. Fat chance. Oh, good! You can tell me the password so I can call off the hit. Fat chance, mister. Not after you ruined my life. <laughs> Fat chance of that. You. Me? Fat chance. I think we should visit the Hershey Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Fat chance, Milton.